three days later we were back at sea. It was beautiful feeling the wind that we got from being in the upper deck. Our first stop was to go for snorkeling before we headed off to the Anfang Marine National Park. Yes, the water was clear and the only traffic was the fishes and my friends on the speedboat. The fishes were dressed in black and white and were the only semblance of the world back home, resembling a moving zebra crossing. We were playing Alice and we were in Wonderland. You fish, swim, eat, laze around and everyone's so friendly. It's such simple stuff but if I could stop the world and restart life, put the clock back, I think I'd restart it just like this for everyone. This new underwater world was the closest we could get to pristine nature. No phone beeps, no WhatsApp messages, the real world as we knew it existed some distance away. And we were enjoying what we humans were meant to be in sync with nature. Yes, we were part of this new world, part Alex Garland's and part ours. And there's this little saying, in an all blue world, colour doesn't exist. If something seems strange, you question it. But if the outside world is too distant to use as a comparison, then nothing seems strange. After all the snorkeling in the morning, we proceeded to the Anthong Marine National Park. It's actually an island which is on a very remote outpost in the Gulf of Thailand, which has this beautiful view at the top of a hill. And people trek so that they get a great selfie right at that spot. While the island does have boats, it's still uh, not a very popular tourist destination yet. It's a beautiful little park with a huge hill right in an island. This is very basic infrastructure, but tenting and camping is allowed. At the Angthong Marine National Park, we climbed a five-layered hill to reach the top of the viewpoint from which you can see many little islands jutting out of the sea. And if you turn back, you'll also see the Emerald Lake which seems right out of paradise with that colour of green. As you make this climb, which is spread over five different points, in the distance, there's an island that's called Ko Hanuman. Yes, believe it or not, an island named after our very own mythological god, Hanuman. It does happen at times when the world disappears and there are no thoughts, the mind experiences bliss. When the world appears, it experiences suffering. One way out of such a structure is to keep yourself perched at a place like this. No telecom signals anyway and your objects of enjoyment are the tree shade, the swing, the waters in the Gulf of Thailand to cool off, that's it. Simple, unadulterated pleasures of life to be found after travelling a thousand miles away from the home base. After a beautiful day out at Angthong, we decided to take the Song Sam ferry all the way to Koh Tao, a little island named after a turtle because it's in that shape. We were going to Koh Tao to go play Songkaran, which is the water festival of Thailand, very similar to the way we play Holi, but it's lesser on colours but more on water. And we recommend you to go play Holi only in Koh Tao and not in Bangkok. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> Happy song to run. Happy song to That's how the Thai celebrate their New Year. Songkaran is otherwise a Sanskrit derivative of Sankaranti. And boy, what a fun festival they have. If you're not very alert, at some point you're going to get hit like the way I was in various forms. And once people find out that you, your gun doesn't fire, they're going to hit you over and over again. I found that out when I was hit by about 2-3 people. They had better guns than mine and they had a better water supply than mine. 
one of the key things with this little game is you're a child all over and uh, you need to go fill up at various places there is water you need, just need to go fill up and uh, join in the fun you're going to make friends with random people on the road hit them to throw water on them there's going to be a lot of laughter out there songkaran is so much fun that abhi and i really connected with our childhood and uh, we were sitting on the back of a van trying to fire people and uh, we didn't find too much competition there and then once we came closer inside sairi beach in kota or town that's when reality struck us and people started pouring water on us and sometimes people can pour extremely chill ice cold water right on your uh, back and that can really be a chill down your spine but all said and done something very interesting that we enjoyed and um, we had a lot of fun and we think you should maybe do this in smaller towns like kotao as opposed to bigger places like uh, bangkok or for example the main place where the songkran festival is celebrated which is chiang mai up in the hills uh, the a beach town like kotao is far more relaxed and less crowded and that really matters and we don't have cash so we decided to take lifts from uh, vehicles that were flying around uh, that's funny but yeah it was a good experience sitting on top of the wing and uh, moving on a hilly terrain we have just about 5 minutes to go catch our uh, ferry which goes to chumphon and then uh, yeah and then we catch a train from chumphon later this evening but for now yeah we have 5 minutes and i'm going to enjoy those 5 minutes hoping that i reach the ferry on time just about reached the ferry on time we were able to uh, catch our train at chumphon the train was about 15 20 minutes late but it was a very comfortable ride back to bangkok the train in is very similar to the way india is where there are compartments that are non air conditioned compartments that are you know meant for only sitting like a chair car and then you have uh, two tier ac compartments so we were in a two tier ac train it costs about 600 bahts which is about 1200 indian rupees and uh, we spent our time trying to go through each compartment and see how the facilities are this was in a chair car compartment and then we later went to the pantry car because we had to find some vegetarian food which we weren't getting so we made friends with um, some of the people on the pantry car and we tried to ransack their uh, pantry to find if there was some vegetarian food because it's also tough to communicate with um, the local thai people in english if you want the right item but we did find yogurt and that was the only vegetarian item that was used for dinner but the people were very friendly they had a nice time where we sat with them and uh, spent some time trying to understand where they come from and that was it uh, a good journey on the uh, rail network but there were a few other things that we also observed and here are abhi myself and vikram telling you a little vignettes of what we like 
Yeah, it's, uh, we're in the train from Chumphon to Bangkok. Chumphon is south of Thailand and it's a very nice railway station. It's a good discovery that we had that we're using the railway station in Thailand to recreate our beach trail. If you remember in the movie Beach 2, Leonardo DiCaprio goes from Bangkok to Surathani, which is otherwise the next station uh, from Chumphon. So I'm happy to be on a train, like in the beach trail. And uh, it's so nice, it's, it's so clean. And it, Thailand has a very old world charm to it. The, the ticket collector did not look at a mobile SMS. He had everything printed out. Similar to India, but it's still a little uh, five, ten years behind its time. That's that's what I feel. But otherwise, Thailand, the trains are very well maintained, at least in the AC compartment. They have nice luggage racks, which is something Indian railways can learn. I should probably write about it to uh, Suresh Prabhu, our railway minister. And uh, very neat curtains. I think that's there in India too. But uh, I kind of like the bedding. I kind of like how the train is. And look at it. Look at the floor. It's 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 a floor where you can walk on. Well, I was raving about the floor. Abhi found some nice tea and some fruits that he could share with you. You get almost everything over here. That's a cold cha uh, tea. That's it. And here is some peanuts that we would get in India too. And surprisingly, from what I found. These are supposed to be uh, one of the delicacies. They're called as uh, water chestnuts. Amazingly delicious. So, what else can you ask for? Loving it. While Abhi loved his fruits, Vikram just wanted a good night's sleep. Even the AC coach is pretty relaxing. I think if I jump off to bed, I don't know, somebody has to wake me up and we go to Bangkok. Thailand, the land of smiles, had given Vikram enough reasons to keep his laughter intact. The movie, The Beach, ends with Leonardo DiCaprio at a cyber cafe. He gets an email from Françoise on the beautiful beach life. She calls it a parallel universe. That's exactly how even we felt. When we now look back at all of our trip memories and all of the narrative that we're doing for you people, it's a parallel universe there. Of all the people that we met at the hostel, at the ship, at the full moon party, even at the waterfall. We've made a lot of friends and these make for great memories. I hope you liked what you saw. Please do share your comments in the comment section. And uh, if you did like our video, please spread the love, share it with your friends and also let us know. Till then, bye bye.